Hello. Hello. Welcome to my lounge. I'm talking about vaping. And today I want to tell you how to clean a cartomizer. Uh, I have told you that I've been a lifetime smoker and I bought an electronic cigarette simply to have a backup in case I ever got somewhere that I couldn't smoke. And I thought then I've got at least something that will deliver me some nicotine. But I've taken to vaping very nice. Some years ago, my sister and I went to the quit smoking thing, I think it was at our local hospital, and I chose the sort of white plastic cigarette malarkey thing. It came in a box, a little white plastic sort of cigarette looking thing, and it had all these little cartridges that you popped in, and then you sucked like hell on this thing, and got a sore throat and a sore muscle in your mouth because it never seemed to deliver you any nicotine. A useless thing. But this morning I found the actual nicotine um, cartridges that you put in them and I found they're 10 milligrams. How on earth would 10 milligrams help a lifetime smoker get a belt of nicotine? So these electronic cigarettes work on a completely different system. As you draw in your inhaling water vapor and in the water vapor is a dose of nicotine. So I've got, I think mine are 18 milligrams in my little uh, cartomizers and that satisfies me beautifully. I find it very comfortable and I'm not craving cigarettes like I did on this other nicotine replacement nicotine replacement is useless thing, really. Uh, electronic cigarettes are much, much more efficient. If you want to, move away from smoking and either stay vaping or gradually not vape even uh, and reduce the nicotine in the e-fluid that you order and you can get it down to zero. So you've got lovely clouds of uh, water vapor but no nicotine coming to keep your addiction going. I did tell you that I decorate my electronic cigarettes. I decorate them with nail varnish with sparkles in. And I also take the coloured paper off the cartomizer. Here is the cartomizer. It's yellow. You can get them black and various colours. But I don't like that. It's a sort of plastic covering. So I sit and I very carefully roll the plastic um, sort of uh, sticky covering off and then I'm left with a silver cartonizer that's very sticky with leftover glue on it. But I use nail varnish remover and with a bit of effort it comes off and you're left with a lovely clean silver cart. Now the, the cart after you've used it for several weeks, could do with the clean. And the way you clean them is simply drop them in a pot of boiling water and boil them for five minutes. Isn't that neat? And then you take the pot off the heat and when it's cool, you take your cartomizer and you blow through the end that joins up to the battery. You blow in reverse and you blow the liquid out of the cartonizer, the water, and then you stand them uh, with the battery connection top up. Stand them on roller towels and they'll drain and dry. And in a few hours, you can refill them or you can leave them overnight and you simply refill them like I told you last time by tipping the cartomizer at an angle and dripping the electronic cigarette fluid down the sides and as I do that I twist it round and an empty cartomizer can take uh, 20, 25 drops and there you're ready to go again and you simply screw the cartomizer onto the battery 
and you're ready to bake. You don't have to make clouds of smoke, but that's enough to satisfy me completely. I have to say though that it's a much better way to transfer yourself off cigarettes to something less injurious, injurious than smoking. And vaping is the way that you can do it with the least pain and suffering. Whereas the nicotine replacement therapy, to my mind, are absolutely useless. Um, I wonder if I've told you everything. Um, so we can. I've told you how good baking feels. I've told you how to clean a car. I've reminded you how to fill it. I've told you how to get the plastic off the cartridge and clean it. I think I've told you everything. My sister's doing well. Uh, she's also gradually finding that she's vaping more than smoking. So if it can do that to two old ladies who have been lifelong smokers, electronic cigarettes are an amazing invention. See you.